This is a standard engine. We have not modified the engine. We only took the carburetor off and the exhaust pipe off. The exhaust now comes through here, comes down, and then finally exits the unit here. Through the center of this is another pipe going all the way down that starts out over here being fresh air with this valve, which is allowing fresh air to bubble down the center of the bubbler all the way to the bottom. It bubbles through the liquid you have in the bottom. It then pulls the vapor off the top, feeding it up the center of this line, the center of the exhaust pipe in the opposite direction of the exhaust. That new vapor, which is gate gas, is fed down, cooled off, comes into the engine here, an addition of fresh air at this point. Uh, it's very simple. This is the simplest model. We call it the demo engine. This is set up to run on gas, diesel, pickle juice, Mountain Dew, and just about anything else you can dream of putting in a fuel tank. It will not run 100% efficient on any of those fuels because the rod inside it is not set up for any one fuel. Okay. It's a generic rod. We're going to go ahead and run the engine now. My assistant here will go ahead and start it up. Hold on, hold on. Open the jar up. I know what it needs. It needs a little coffee. <laughs> there we go. Now try it. Now when you're first pu pulling the rope, if you can put your hand over this and smell, go ahead. doing what? So explain that to us. We got a vacuum one. Turn the switch off. And there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the system, most likely in that copper tube. We have had this apart a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the student who took it apart put it back together tight. So, What so. is happening is the air is being pulled in here and controlled by this valve, goes to the bottom of the jar, bubbles through. Uh, What's oh, it? What's we didn't put sugar in there. That was the problem. Yeah. Oh, well. You like just coffee with sugar. Uh -huh. But it bubbles down through and the cream. coffee. And cream. Cremora, no less. <laughs> I haven't tried Cremora. Uh, we'll have to try that one. But the bubbles coming through release the gas vapors, and the vacuum in here changes the boiling point. Vacuum can reduce the boiling point of water where it'll boil at room temperature. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which is something you should find in your science book. Once that vapor is fed into the exhaust pipe in the opposite direction of the exhaust, it is sped up. Uh, the vapor going through that chamber does not go in a straight line. I'll show you back when we get back to the table here. As it comes through, it goes in, it gets mixed with fresh air here, and you get a, a very clean burn. These engines normally get about 95% less pollution than they would from the factory. And we get the same results on most cars. That's why we, uh, when you put the uh, napkin there, it was not sooty and stuff. Correct.